Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Ronan Farrow. His investigations of sexual misconduct shook the world. He's also a foreign affairs expert and State Department veteran. And his book, War on Peace, is out now in paperback. Ronan, welcome back. Good to see you again. Always a pleasure, George. So one of your arguments in the book is that uh, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, really hurt America's standing on the world stage. We just saw President Biden's first trip abroad, uh, both his meeting with our allies and that summit with Vladimir Putin. How'd he do? You know, it's in some ways a, a return to traditionalism that we're seeing, and this is not surprising. Uh, this is something Biden, in fact, promised on the campaign trail. Uh, when he met with Putin, for instance, he actually, after the fact, clarified to reporters a nod that he had made at the outset of the meeting uh, wasn't a secret coded uh, you know, yes to, to a question about him tr trusting Putin. Um, it was just an incidental nod. That clearly shows he's going out of his way to avoid a lot of the precedents of the Trump era, including elevating Vladimir Putin, elevating a lot of different strongmen. But that said, what we're seeing back home at the State Department is this is still an institution that is in some ways bleeding out after the Trump administration. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about. You saw something of a brain drain. You also saw for years uh, diplomats being pushed aside in favor of the military. Do you think the balance is coming back? We've talked about this over the years, George. It's a problem that has been percolating for, for several administrations uh, across several different political parties, but it really reached a nadir during the Trump administration. Massive uh, proposed budget cuts, massive staffing cuts, real cultural problems where career officials, the expertise in the State Department, the people who negotiate our way out of conflicts around the world, um, were not respected, were regarded with suspicion or called you know, traitors or members of the deep state. Those are going to take a, a long time to roll back. Those are real structural problems that I interviewed every living uh, Secretary of State uh, for this this book, uh, War on Peace, that I am now re-releasing on this subject. And uh, again and again, they said this is going to take maybe a generation to fix. Let's talk about Harvey Weinstein. You won your Pulitzer Prize for reporting on his sex crimes. He's serving a 23-year sentence right now. And now you have a new HBO series coming out on it? Yeah, it starts uh, uh, streaming and airing on HBO and HBO Max on July 12th. And, uh, you know, I, I did a bunch of really inter intimate and I think revealing interviews with incredibly brave sources around that story. Um, everyone from, you know, these survivors of terrible crimes who were breaking through a culture of silence to uh, private spies that were hired to chase around me and sources um, and reporters on the stories. Uh, these are interesting perspectives to hear and to read about, but really seeing them and seeing the emotional journey these individuals went on to become whistleblowers is incredibly illuminating, George. So uh, I'm grateful that, you know, that footage of those original interviews is finding a home now, and it's been incredible to see it come together. I can't take credit for it. A, a very talented pair of directors um, at World of Wonder put it together into something beautiful. Hope people watch. So the world wants to know, Ronan, you, you, you proposed to your fiancé, John Lovett, uh, one of the co-hosts of Pod Save America, just before the pandemic. How are the wedding plans going? Uh, now, a question, are, are our mothers producers on the show at this point, <laughs> or it's just an incidental question? Uh, you know, there there is some pressure within the family for us to finally get our acts together and plan this thing. I think it was going to happen during that pandemic window. Uh, and now I'm going to have to take a break from all this work stuff and uh, actually get you an answer on that. I, I think soon is the answer. <laughs> and we will get props from your moms for asking the question. Ronan, yeah, thanks absolutely. very much. Yeah. Rise and updated edition Thanks, of War on Peace is out today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.